friend of mine used to lay a pile of caps outside the campfire at night. Said it was to ward off raiders. So I asked him, how in Jesus' name are a dozen caps going to stop a raider? And he says, because they can't count past 11. NCR let a bunch of ragtag inmates escape. How? Trained soldiers against what? A couple rapists, murderers, robbers? How could the NCR let a bunch of men whose only accomplishment is pounding each other off in the showers defeat their well-armed guards? How? But luckily for us, all my hunts are not just travelers. No siree. The Powder Gangers rank very high on my agenda. Oh, so goddamn high. All of you! I will have all of your dicks on a platter! You hear me? Fuck you! Everyone is gone. I am all alone. Let it all end. Those Vegas types never come out this far. But that doesn't mean I wouldn't make an attempt on them. Would they make good prey, though? Yet one very flashy-looking man was spotted by yours truly recently. A checkered suit, a silver gun, a great con entourage. I was more curious than aggressive when one sighted him. It was odd, and I liked that suit, too. So I only watched, and determined it was worth it. <laughs> I eventually oh, lost track. Oh, God, I must have known I was following. God, God, don't eat the squirrel this time. Damn. They, uh, that thing stood out amongst the commons. If only I could get my hands on that suit. <laughs> Everyone is gone. I am all alone. Let it all happen. I was on my prowl the other night, just walking, taking in the air, looking for a mark. Then I saw. Blue jumpsuit, dirty face. He was a powder gang. One of those escape. Those soldiers you brought down on us is all business, stranger. Better than lawlessness. You had no though. idea. So you got my things. So I decided he was my mark. We won't go quietly. Stop the Legion can count on that. Watched, observed, admired, believed. Then I struck. I approached slowly, quietly. He chucked a knife into his leg. He screamed, but no one came to his aid. He was alone. He didn't put up a good fight. He cried, screamed, threatened, sobbed, begged, pissed. Then he went silent. I'd hit his artery, bled out within seconds. But I wasn't. What do you need? I wasn't fucking convinced. I stabbed him. Once, twice, a third time, I got Oh dear. I this... Wrote this was hers all right. The little R on its back. The bastards don't deserve their god I'd hold on to lives. hope that you'd find more than this, but... The chance of that was slim as it is. You didn't have to do this, but... Thank you. I'll see to it that this is buried along with her. What's left of her. Thank you. A man came looking around here earlier, asking questions about any raider hideouts in the area. He's by the door, so you may have information he wants. Uh, excuse me. I must prepare a burial. Spotted by yours truly recently. A checkered suit.
Hey. Go away. Go away. Go away. I told you already. Go away. Go away. I said, go away. Go away. Fucking go. Wait. What? Hot house to be specific, but yes, I am. Why? Do you know of any in the area? And? A lot of strange men in these parts. Ain't a raider thing, really. Hmm. A raider living in the hills, probably? Or did the girl wander up there and just set it down before her death? Eh, probably the former. Little girl wouldn't ever got past all the geckos. What would a raider want with a teddy bear, though? Are you sure there's a raider up there? Hmm, does sound fishy. I've heard it too. Guess that settles it. There is someone up there, but who? That is the question. But... Was anyone at the shack when you arrived? So... It was abandoned when you arrived. No... No... The radio still plays. Which means that they weren't there at the time. You may have been lucky, my friend, for that. It seems my job may have finally taken an interesting turn. I believe we have a raider up there, but I have no idea where he is. <laughs> I'd heard of attacks in the area, lone wanderers found dead by others. Many people started avoiding these parts for fear of that murderer. I guess we located where he lives, but where is he now? Hmm. Well, thank you. I uh, guess I'll stick around for a while and try to find the bastard. End him just like all the other raiders. Bye. Go away.
Hey. Damn. Unfortunate. What happened? Was it wildlife? No. Alright. Take it to Madeline, or whatever the hell her name is. She knew the broad better than I. What do you need? Yes, the Merc told me he had someone looking. I guess that was you then? Oh my. That is hers. She took pride in that damn thing. I have no idea why. Thanks. Keep it. I have no use for it. Sell it, keep it, junk it. Doesn't matter. It's yours. You should speak to your friend before you leave. He said... He said something about wanting to stick around a bit longer. Hey. Yeah. A bandit, a uh, raider, whatever, is hiding around here. I aim to find him, but I can't do it in just one day. You promised to help, so listen here. Come back later. I don't care when. I'm gonna snoop around. Find out what I can and pinpoint where he is. Hopefully before he strikes again. Watch your back around here. I'll see you soon. Hey! Yo! Some. None of it good. A hunter came by, traded some meat, and moved on. I had talked to them, they were looking to hunt Gecko nearby. I'm not saying that anything could have happened, but no new murders have occurred recently. We should find him, make sure he's alright. I don't exactly want to believe this bastard just suddenly moved on and his radio station is still active. Let me know when you're ready, and we'll move on. Let's not waste any time. They say if you want to trap the devil, you just put a mirror on your porch. He can't help but stare at himself. You hear that? Keep your guard up.
Oh, god damn. We're too late. <sighs> Fuck. Alright, alright, alright. Take a look around. Perhaps we can find something that can tell us where this bastard went. I'm gonna stick by the body and see what it can tell me. The blood looks fresh, so he couldn't have gotten far. Watch your back. place is browner than a Brahmin, and I ain't entirely sure it's dirt. Found anything? What do you found? I don't know what any of this is, but none of this gives me any context. You're gonna have to keep looking. Hurried up. Something about this ain't right. I feel like someone's staring a hole through my skull. Found anything? What, uh, this is queer. This, Devin B. Who is Devin? Is this their instrument? It's about a place, that's for sure. This right here is giving me the fucking heebie-jeebies. No. Bunch of bullet holes and stab wounds, but... Nothing really. His, his caps are still on his body, and his rifle's still there. Something just doesn't add up. A raider would have taken almost everything. Ammo, guns, caps, cams, food. He has everything. Who the fuck is this guy then, if not a raider? Hmm. Well, I don't know. Let me look at that harmonica. Devin B. I wonder just who that is. Here, hold on to that. I'm gonna head back to Prim and talk to that grieving mother. Feel free to continue your investigation, but meet me there. What do you need? Joseph? You mean that mercenary? He left. I forgot when, but he left town. He gave me this. Told me to give it to you if you showed up. He said something about... Jen skydiving. And had asked me some questions about my daughter, most notably her name. He asked if it was Devin. He was confusing me. My daughter's name was Emily. After that being said, he ran off, giving me a note that was poorly written. He seemed urgent. I think you should hurry to meet him. His eyes looked frightened, surprised, yet he seemed so cold, fearless. I wonder what got into him.
I will not do to you what I did to your friend. I only want to talk, if you're willing. I am honestly glad to meet you. This is not the first time you've ventured here, and not many dare. You have Moxie, and I wish to pick your brain. But you have questions, no doubt. Ask, and I will answer. It is only fair. I? Well, I am the one the locals fear, and I am the guardian angel of their children. I am David to the Powder Ganger's Goliath. I am the lesser of two evils. I am the lone wolf, a hunter, much like yourself, really. I would like to ask a few questions. But I'm sure you have some of your own. I will give you the first round, if it pleases you. I have been watching you ever since you invaded my home and stole that stuffed bear. For some time now, I have watched, admired, studied. Like a mother to her child, I have paid dutiful attention and decided it was worth the risk. The risk of getting shot by you, that is. I've wanted to meet you because you are an interesting being to me. Brave, swift, strong, inquisitive. You are the first person that my instinct told me that a hunt would 100% fail on me. <laughs> I wanted to speak to you because, well, that can wait. I'm sure you have other questions. Oh, Joseph. Was that his name? Is it not so obvious? He and all the others. He was hunting me. ME! That just will not fly. I had to turn the tables on him soon. Catching him alone over at Jean's. Perfect time and place. Angle, friend? I have no angle. I only wish to hunt. To be the predator in a world of Brahmin and prey. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world, friend. We all must do what we have to do to survive and allow others a painless existence. My hunts allow this, especially the children. Hmm. Let me look at you. Hmm. Wide hips, strong legs, brim shoulders. Yes, you would do nicely. But no, I won't. Something tells me you would put up a fight too much even for me to handle. Besides, I have my own questions to ask you. Killing you would be a waste of knowledge. I am sorry to shoot you down, but I have no use for women for your treasures hidden beneath the cloth and guarded by your weaponry. I do not possess any desires now that I have the hunt. No use for the sins of Vegas. No use for your organic tools. The hunt is my thrill, my fun, my activity. You'll have to find other ways to satisfy your needs. I only want to talk, and you to listen. You no doubt have questions too, so I will offer you the first blow. Ask, and I shall answer. Now it's my turn. I only have four questions though, and I promise I shall be brief about it. 
for I am eager to hear your answers. Please, answer truthfully. I am eager to know your name, so please tell me. It is good to know the name of a new friend. Are we not? We haven't shot at each other yet, and neither of us are holding a grudge, I would hope. Does that not make us friends? Oh. Well. That's just dreadfully unfortunate. Nice to meet you. With formalities out of the way, I move on to my second question. You came here some time back, and left just the same. But you failed to see something. No one comes here unless they are searching for it. Look over that hill behind me, and you'll see. So that means only one thing. Someone sent you this way. True, you may not have been looking for my home exactly, but you came looking. Now tell me, who sent you? Lies. Lies! You are trying my patience, you hear me? Trying it! I'm... I'm sorry. I'm sorry for... flying off the handle. I... I'm sorry. Please, don't lie to me. I do not like liars. Try again? As I've said, you are different. I don't know why, but something inside me says so. I was off answering nature's call when I saw you, invading my home. I was getting ready to take you out when my instinct stopped me. I saw you leave, that damn bear in hand. That bear was of particular interest to you which helped my conclusion that you didn't just stumble upon here. Now answer me. Who sent you here? A charity worker? What a rare sight in this hellhole of a wasteland. Madeline, you said? I do not know that name, but I will remember that. Thank you. I thank you for your honesty. A rare and respectable trait in this hellhole, don't you agree? On to my next question. You have something that belongs to me. Something personal, but dear to my heart. It kinda relates to the last one I asked. A harmonica. One with the name Devon carved into it. I would very much like to have it back. So if you would, please give it to me. Don't give me that look. I saw you pick it up. When I killed that weasel hunter, I saw you and your friend and took off. I dropped it on my flight. Can you please give it back to me? Pretty please? <laughs> I don't remember allowing any more questions to be asked. Perhaps you should just give me the harmonica. My patience is running low. What? Listen here, you cockbite! That damn thing means the world to me! You better give me that damn thing right now! It's non-negotiable! I'm through playing games! Give me that damn thing! I can't live without it! <laughs> 